All right, how y'all doing? I am Rodney MC Shaking Retail. And in this video, I want to tell you how one Tamika Tiny Harris had a hand in where I am now. So if you're watching this video, I am in prison. I'm not in prison as I'm recording it, but I am there as you're watching it because I will release it, schedule it to release after I'm actually incarcerated. So before I do anything, it's good to explain, I'm gonna make this video real, real quick. So try to keep up. Uh, I want to go ahead and some church announcements. If you need any information about where I am or anything like that, go to www.freeshaky.com. Also, if you do want to support me, I would appreciate it. Thank you so much. My cash app is dollar sign free and see shaky with the I E. Make sure also there's some stuff at the bottom y'all go to. Make sure did y'all get your free shaky shirts? I hope so. I hope so. I hope y'all got them. So thank you for tuning in. Um, also while you're here, what does help me a lot while I'm incarcerated is um you just doing this like subscribe share the content go watch some other videos things like that now uh before i get into any of the like real life history or about what goes on here i'm gonna just preface it real real quickly uh there are other videos that detail how i know the harrises uh and how i was interacting with them and what brought me into them so what i want to do real quick is just kind of just give you a brief very very brief rundown about where so i you know this is uh us uh, wrong hey this is us this is us this is this tiny uh kind of as you can see and some of the cast members that was on an lgbtq plus reality show that we were doing back in 2020 uh the end of 2020 we were doing the reality show series uh it was slated to be similar to what the bad boys club series that you see is except it would have had an ensemble lgbtq plus cast um we uh shot the show uh and everything uh as y'all can see that's that's her again uh to the right of me looking all food uh i said that out loud all right and so I, I got introduced to her sometime in 2019 uh i was in houston oh excuse me i was in atlanta with shikana uh who i've been knowing since 2018 uh and my first time meeting her in person meeting uh tiny in person was basically uh at a restaurant uh we, we went to we went to a restaurant i want to say it was houston that's why houston's on my mind it was a steak place uh there was whatever day that was that they lost the jewelry that tiny was the, there was the jewelry fiasco that her and ti were doing and they wound up getting insurance money for whatever day that is that's the day i actually uh it was the day after that i met her um i actually had some inside information on what was going on with the jury stuff i never exposed it because i i'm, I'm, I'm loyal until you cross me. that's kind of how i am like you decide the shit you're going to get you're going to get the, either get the super villain or you're going to get the most wonderful lovable huggable teddy bear in the world and of course she obviously chose the latter um so in any aspect i met her um in 2019. um we had there were several times that we met uh subsequent to that when shikana elected to bring her a part of the reality show uh that's what it was things went south with us when i blamed her rightfully so when they were involved with those allegations and those r word allegations and all those allegations that stemmed from whatever they were doing with the people in their bedroom, her and her, uh, Tiny and T.I., uh, when all those shenanigans happened, that messed up the reality show because no network wanted to mess with her. No network wanted to touch something that was attached to her name. Uh, we recorded the reality show in October of 2020. Uh, the stuff hit the fan in January of 2021. So that's just kind of like give you some time reference of what happened. So. I had invested financially in the reality show. She kind of put about thirty thousand. I put about sixteen thousand. Tiny may have put maybe three to four or five thousand dollars at the most in on the reality show. It was definitely Shakana's idea. Uh, I was brought on because of my uh, expertise, and of course, I am LGBTQ plus as well. And Tiny was just brought on for name recognition. Uh, that's the history. It went south when I blamed her for not releasing the show and so kind of wanted to get i was going to buy her out i was going to buy other both out try to sell the show i could not do that because of the holdups 
with how the show was actually put together through verbal text and uh, agreements that we had in regards to what it was. I was coming on because I don't have the, the name that she does as an associate producer and they were the executive producers. And so that kind of put them in the split. Even though I put more money, uh, that only allowed me some of the financial, but as far as the decision making, it went to the title, which was the executive producer, which was them. And I was trying to buy them out and they had their issue. And so uh, I, I blame Tiny for messing up the money that I had invested in the show. Um, I was vocal about that. I've never bit my tongue for nobody. I've always said, I've always been transparent. I've always ex been very transparent about how I feel, regardless of how big the name is or even how small the name is. Um, if I feel like something was happening, I talked about it. Um, subsequent to that, uh, Tiny had a, a tiny don't like, didn't like me after that, of course. Uh, so she sent some of her lowlings to try to troll me or something sent private investigators to try to find out stuff on me that I had already told everybody, but okay, whatever. Uh, you can't troll a troll. Or you can't see, the, the my combat to that is that you can't get me because I already put it out there. Like, it is what it is. You're gonna either, they live in a world where they try to control the narrative. Tiny and her husband tries to control the narrative about every single thing when it comes to aspects of them. I don't care what you think about me. <laughs> so it is like, it's, it, it is what it is. So I just say what it is. I'm a person that's very, very transparent. Uh, several times when this stuff was going on, I talked about it candidly every single time. I've never ran from the truth. You know, it is what it is. All right, so su subsequent to that, she felt that she didn't get me. She didn't feel like she won. And so she attempted to win in a way that was above reproach. Now, I will preface this, and I will go ahead and, and open this up real quick. I am in no way, shape, or form blaming her for anything in regards to where I am now because number one is two quick things. Number one, if I wouldn't have did it, <laughs> if I wouldn't have stole the money, I wouldn't be in jail. And if I wouldn't have said what I said in the video, she couldn't, it wouldn't have been there. But I do want to expose the truth about how these people are when it comes to what they do when it comes to all this snitching and stuff that is given to her husband and her. They, that's what they do. And so I want to just talk about the truth about what happened. Now, let me bring up another something real quick. So I was sentenced to 70 months Federal Bureau. All right. Now, I want to show, uh, I want to bring up a sealed document now that's in the, that came to the court. So this, let me make myself smaller and that bigger. So this is a sealed document that nobody have but myself and my attorney. And so this is what the government's response to um, the, to me asking for a lenient sentence. The government said, we don't have any requests the government does not object to the guideline sentence of 46 to 57 months. Now, the 46 to 57 months would have put me out in freedom in about a year and a half to two years. All right? And so it's like this is the entire document when it comes to that. This is what it is. And it's just saying it's not. It's just saying accordingly, the sentence range from 46 to 57 months. This is the sealed document. Um, it this just says I plead quickly. I never tried to hide from it. 46 to 57 months, followed by uh, five years of paper. That's what it said. That's what the government was going for. I ended up getting 70 months, and that is in part due to time. Now, let me explain how. When you go to the feds and when you have a court case, you are allowed, the people are allowed to speak in it publicly if they want to say something on your behalf or against you. The victim in the in the instance, which was the place that I was working for, that I that I took the money from, they didn't want to say nothing because they was just they pretty much got their money back. The banks don't necessarily come. So the public does have a right to say something if they want to. In this case, the, one of the public members we're gonna talk about is this. I made a video, and in a video, I was being trolled about the sentencing and upcoming sentencing. And in a mat in a in a in a quick Part of me just cussing out the trolls, I say, 
I don't care what y'all do, and I'm gonna do what I want to do until I decide to steal these black folks' money again. I said that. Uh, I will put a there should be a link to the video up here somewhere, girl, if y'all want to go watch that video uh, and see what exactly what I said. So in that video, I said that. Um, shortly after me saying that in the video, somebody wrote a anonymous letter with a link to the video on the day before my sentencing and sent it to the judge, the prosecutor, and everybody, you know, the whole everybody. And so they didn't know what it was. And so they wanted to see what the video was. And so they continued my sentencing for a month. This is that. This is the field. It says the video Ronnie Russo is scheduled to be sentenced to the above reference matter on June 14th. Today, June 13th, they were forced to gentleman notified the defendant had posted a YouTube video inside of Shaky answers the haters about his federal sentencing. In the video, he uses just his upcoming sentence here and makes various statements that require further investigation. Uh, the government called my lawyer and said they had no objections to the motion and they set my sentencing back. All right. So, that's public work. So, they looked at the video. The, the, the le there was a letter that was attached to the video that stated he's a bad person, he deserved 40 years, 30 is not enough because my sentence was from zero. 30 years, 30 years is not enough, he is he hiding all the money, he making all this money on Beagle, he making all this money on Miko, he's doing all this other stuff, he been harassing people. Pulling up credit reports, blah blah blah, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. So um the court granted the continuance. As y'all can see here, this is the grant. They continued it. So the court took action upon it. Signed by the judge. They want to watch the video. All right. So cat out the bag. I left the video up. Video with it. <laughs> they can't. If I take it down, I get hit with obstruction of justice or something. Y'all don't know how these players play. I do. And I just was like, you know what? I got to just take the lick. But I would like to know who sent the video. All right. Uh, so, check this out. This part says simply this. This is a, a, a notation from, oh, you can't see this. I'm going to make this. I got to make this. Okay, so this is a, a note from my attorney. It says, Rodney attached the decision around on Friday behalf of the government's response. The YouTube video is no longer an issue. The agent on your case looked into this further, even interviewed the person who complained about you. She did not think much of the YouTube video, right? She did not think much of the YouTube video. The prosecutor would have the agent on hand at the sentencing hearing just in case Judge Gidry has any questions. I will have your therapist notes and report to show to the judge in case I need it. All right, so check this out. I am questioning <laughs> because I want to know who, like, who's just who don't like me that much. Who would you, who would, who would send a letter to send a black man to jail? Well, let's find out who. And I questioned my attorney, who then got the information, because I have a right to face my accusers. Just a right. You can't just do this privately or with a, they're not going to do that. You have to be able to, they're going to contact, if you would send something in, they would contact you to find out who you are. Would you like to come in and talk and say something? And you have to be a person. You can't just hide behind a thing and hope that somebody gets 30 years in prison. Doesn't work like that. I have a right to face you too. Or, con or contradict what you say, which is why I had some notes from my therapist to say I was triggered. I was, I was being trolled, things like that in the course of doing a job when I made the statements. That's a whole nother thing. All right, so I get this email. Let's pick it up. So let's see. It says, simply, regarding the negative character reference letter and attached video, it was determined by the United States government that the letter originated from Tamika D. Kyle. Tamika D. Kyle, who is I guess Kato is a 
uh, um, Maitland, who affirmed she used the pseudonym to author the letter because of her notoriety as a singer and television star. She has refused the invitation from the government to speak at sentencing, so the letter or video cannot be entered into the record. I pray this puts your mind at ease. So that's my lawyer's sentence. I'm mad, though, at the time, because I'm like, what? I want to, yeah, come on to court so I could, so I could see who you. Now, as you can see, now, allegedly, the, the, the letter wasn't supposed to be part of the whole thing. The video wasn't supposed to be part of the whole thing. But you can't unsee something. You can't unsee something. Now, I'm going to put up my sentencing, which is also sealed. I'm going to let y'all see because I ain't got nothing. My sister sentence is a statement of reasons why they sentenced me. It says they adopt the pre sentence and the investigation, everything without thing. Um, I don't have a mandatory minimum. All right. So it does say a statement where it says the court imposes a sentence otherwise outside the sentencing guidelines. So he went up with the government wanted, what <laughs> I want, of course, what anybody wanted. He did an upward variance, right? He went up, so y'all can see I don't have a five K one. Five K one is the five K one is the uh, the rent substantial assistance. I don't have that on mine. <laughs> like <laughs> I bet you, Clifford Harris couldn't do that. But anyway, <laughs> um, he went, and of course I got more time, not less. So he says the sentence above is above the guideline range. Above the guideline range. Other than the plea agreement or motion by the parties of variance. The, it's, so it's other than the, it's outside of the plea agreement. Why he's doing this? So, we know because technically the video is not part of the record. The 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 uh, but it was sent to him. He signed the motion with the title of the video of it that he could go see, which was a public video. I was, so now what that does, the 70 months is nearly double what the guideline range, the bottom of the guidelines, are, which basically kind of means that now instead of doing a couple years, do like three. So that's what she got for me. Thank you, Tiny, to me. So, in order to uh, repay your hospitality, so y'all, I'm going to schedule this video to release on, I plan on telling myself in on the 9th, which is Tuesday. I'm going to have this video released on the 10th, which is Wednesday. On Thursday, I'm going to release the uncensored, unfiltered version of Kitty talking to Gabe. And y'all can really see and really hear for yourself what kind of stuff goes on in their bedroom. So as you're watching this today, stay tuned tomorrow because the next video will be scheduled to come out tomorrow. And I will never forget this. I will never forget this. Although it's not her fault because had I not made the video, had I not, had I not did the crime, I wouldn't be, you know, but I'm the type of person, I do the crime, I got a good time. I'm not tripping. But you know, if this is the kind of games you, you want to play, <laughs> we're going to play them. Uh, <laughs> so thank y'all so much for listening to this and checking it out. Um, and y'all have seen for yourself through the evidence that I have presented. Uh, I, if y'all hit me up, freeshaker.com has all my information. You heard me <laughs> where I'm at. You want to send me a letter or something like that. I can't email in the face. I don't need your email address to send you a request to email you first and we will go from it like that i love y'all y'all have a wonderful wonderful time i will see y'all on the outside i promise you that